Good morning, people of God. You're welcome once again to another beautiful day in the presence of God. Today, Friday, 18th of August, 2023. It is time for us to connect with Morning Charge with the Mountaintop Life Daily Devotional. I welcome you once again into God's presence. In Jesus' name, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you for another beautiful day. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you, Lord, because you have counted us worthy to be among your beloved, those who will call on you and worship and fellowship, even in your presence this morning. That you will say glory be to your name in the name of Jesus. Father, as we listen to your word, as we go and we share, your word, rubbing minds, we ask, O oh Lord, that you make these words to prosper in our lives. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. I want you to pick your Bibles and um, devotional book and open to Friday, August 18, 2023. Today we are talking on strategies for effective evangelism today. Strategies for effective evangelism today. The Bible is all encompassing. God has not left anything out for us to learn from and to do. And this morning, we're looking into that great commission that Jesus gave his disciples when he was about ascending into the presence of the Father. Open with me Matthew 28, 19 to 20. If you have your Bible or you're listening, you're watching. Matthew 28, 19 to 20. And Jesus came. Let me take it from 18 for proper perspective. And Jesus came, so that you know that it's Jesus speaking. And spake unto them, saying, now verse 19, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Say, Go ye therefore, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. And look at verse 28. It says, teaching them to observe all things. Whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you all, even unto the end of the world. Amen. That's our memory verse for today. It's a commission. It's an instruction. It is a command. It said, go ye therefore. Meaning, don't wait, don't tarry, no sitting, no standing. Share the word, teach people, proclaim the gospel. He said, make disciples of all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. All nations, all nations of the world, living out none of it. And he's saying, not just baptizing them, he said, you need to teach. And what do you say? Teach them to observe all things. Meaning that the things I have taught you, you teach them. So that when they do, they will be able to live the way I want them to live. And then they will make heaven at last. Beloved, this morning, I want to remind you of something. That you are saved to save other people. You are saved to save other people. You're not just to sit down as a Christian and then because, okay, I accept Christ and then I go to church and somebody is there preaching for me, to me and then is, um, we'll pray, we'll sing and I get back home. No. You don't get a good thing and keep it. Imagine if you buy a new dress, you want to show it to all your friends. New shoes, new hand, new wristwatch, new phone. These are the things we use normally in the world. Your new car, your new house, you want to share the joy with friends. 
So it is the same with good news and glad tidings, the good tidings of the word of God. It, it comes with joy and it has to be shared. It cannot be contained. You must spread it to other people. This morning, I want to share with you, people of God, that evangelism and soul winning is God's heart's beat. Because there's no way his kingdom on earth will expand except to win other souls. And this is the reason why Jesus himself gave that command. And it became a great commission to his disciples. Not just at that time, they became apostles, spread it all over the world. And then that's how he came to you and me. And then we too should do what? Go ahead and do the same. So the call is coming to you this morning. Go ye too. Go and share the word of God. Are you born again? As a, necessity, a matter of necessity, you must be a soul winner. And Proverbs 11.30 tells us that a soul winner is wise. A soul winner is wise. What makes a soul winner wise? Because I mean, you, you, you want to bring other people to the knowledge of that glorious and marvelous God whom you have come to know and to serve. And if that is it, God in heaven will rejoice at every soul that is one into his kingdom. Beloved, you need to share the message. Jesus is the way. John 14, 6, the truth and the life. No one gets to the Father except through him. And the only way you can make it really known to people, to other people, is by sharing, evangelizing teaching them, winning souls into the kingdom of the Lord. But to do this, there are strategies, there are ways. And I want to tell you, the way we, we, people were doing it 20, 30 years, 50 years, 70, 100 years ago, is changing. Some days they will ride on horses to go all over and then share the word. At another time, people go in, in canoes in shapes, in whatever form, on the water. Some go on foot, walking miles into the you know, forest areas, into villages, remote places, to share the message of the gospel. But today, people of God, as we are developing, the world is becoming more technologically advanced. Even the things of God should move at that same pace. And that's why we need to know these strategies for effective um, evangelism. You are so winner, I believe, brother. My sister, you are so winner. Don't just stay home and believe that is the end of it. No, the Lord is calling on you this morning. So which method do you want to use? Is it sharing of tracks? You want to wake up, um, get uh, into your car, I mean, or come out of your car, get on the road and share tracks, or you take you park your car, you take a bus. People do that, you know, for the passion, the same passion of soul winning. Do you want to do a morning cry? Wake up early in the morning before you even go to work and then if you have that time, you pick your megaphone and then you go around your environment to somewhere a little far away from you. You do a few minutes of it sharing the word. You never can tell who is listening. That track that you share in that vehicle on the road, in the marketplace, in the, in the supermarket, in the shopping mall, you never can tell who so will be one. He takes it home, he gets to read it, and he surrenders his life to Jesus. It can also be done by showing uh, uh, Jesus films, we call it, in your environment or some other environment where the Holy Spirit leads you. With a group of people, you go there, you show the movie, the, the film, people will watch. They are passerby, you know, People get attracted to what they can see. And so once they stand to see, you never can tell whose soul or what, which soul is it that will be won into the kingdom. The Lord is waiting for you. You can even share testimonies. Testimonies of how some other people came to serve the Lord. And then someone listening will be moved. That is so winning. You can even share your own personal experience. How did it start? How did you come to know Jesus and accept him as your savior and your Lord? The world is waiting. The beautiful part of it, all our phones, beloved, that's your phone. 
that's your internet, your tablet, your laptop, and all the social media that we have. Don't just go on Instagram and look, ladies, into beautiful clothes and all of that and all of that. Share the word of God with somebody. Say something about Jesus. Some people are waiting to listen. Some souls are hungry and thirsty. They have run here and there. They cannot make it. So they're looking for a place to start, a place to go. Use all of this. And then you get to reach out to those whom the Lord is calling into his kingdom. We still have a lot to say, to share with ourselves about this topic. The Lord help us. We we'll go on a short break and then we'll come back again. God bless you. Stay connected. The 2023 70 Days Fasting and Prayers of the Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries is on. Fast breaks, 5 p.m. Mondays and Fridays and 2 p.m. every other day. Remember to get your 70 days fasting and prayer guide booklet for this event. The 2023 70 days fasting and prayers. Pray your battle for. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. Have you gotten a copy of the 70 days fasting and prayers booklet? Get one today and one for a friend and have a guide into the 70 days program. Get a copy from any MFM bookshop near you or visit www.mfmebooks.com. Be a part of this divine annual program. The Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministry 70 Days Fasting and Prayers 2023 Prayer Bible 4 Available in English, French, Yoruba, Igbo, Hausa, Ethic, and Edo. Jesus is Lord. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. You welcome back once again to Morning Church with Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional. We've said so much about what the divine instruction is, go ye. We have also spoken about some strategies of doing what the Lord wants us to do. Sharing tracts, preaching publicly, showing films, sharing testimonies of other people, or even your own testimony of conversion. All of this we said is going to bring people into the knowledge of Christ. And more importantly, the use of our uh, uh, electronic gadgets, your phones, your tablets, your laptops, and what have you. Then going on social media, or your Facebook, your WhatsApp, your Instagram, and all of that can be used to reach out to other people. And I tell you, just the way entertainment news goes very fast, across the world, even here. The news of salvation, the good news of how people can come into the kingdom will be so widely propagated and it will in every way uh, be able to douse the lives of Satan, which is increasingly taking over the lives of people. But then, what exactly is the message that you want to pass across? What is that message? Beloved, there is much of it. Remember, it's a divine instruction, divine command. And by the time you preach the word of God, then you're passing across knowledge, divine knowledge, which is able to bring people from darkness, out of darkness, into light. The first thing is, you are teaching them the truth about God. The truth about God. And when they know so much about God and his kingdom, then the lies of Satan is debunked already. John 8, 45 says he's a liar. The father of all lies. He's been a liar from the beginning. So the truth of God's word needs to come against it. And Jesus is the truth, the way and the life. So you need to preach it. You need to teach it. You're going to teach them what they need to know about, about the kingdom of God. Even about the kingdom of Satan. 
because they need to know what to avoid and what to embrace. And what they do not know, they cannot believe it. And if nobody goes to preach to them, they will not know. And so how does we get, I mean, how, how does the word get to them? Somebody had to speak it somebody for them to hear. You need to teach them the reality of eternity. Let people know that there is a place called heaven. And there is a place called hell. John 14, 1 said, let not your heart be troubled. In my father's house, there are many mansions. Many mansions, I said. If it were not so, said, I would, I, I, I would have told you, said, I'm going there to prepare a place for you. So that where I am, you will be also. Let them know. There's a place of burning fire. Eternal burning fire. A place of condemnation. But it's not reserved for us. It's reserved for the devil and his cohorts. Well, unfortunately, for as many as want to follow him. But we, the Lord does not want anyone. God doesn't want anyone to perish in that fire. So let them know the love of God. The love of God. John 3, 16. Say, for God so loved the world, I send only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. He came, he died for us. Teach them everything about Jesus. Let them know about his life, his death, his resurrection. He is the price of our redemption and our reconciliation to God. He died on the cross and shed his blood. He had no sin but kind of our sin. So it means our sins and all um, our, our unbecoming uh, uh, um attitudes and whatever could make us short of heaven has been paid for and settled on the cross through his blood. We only need to enter into that victory. But you see, if you don't tell people, they will not know. You need to teach them about this world which will soon pass away. Let's read 1 John 2, 15, 17. It says, love not the world neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. I'm sure many people want to abide forever and the place to be forever is not here in this world because the world and the elements around it is going to melt away in a very short while and for I I want to be forever will be at the feet of the father himself in, in heaven eternity in heaven the only way to get there is through Jesus you must preach it you must teach it teach men teach them to how to bring how to come out of darkness into light. And it's through Jesus again. Teach them about the Holy Spirit and his indwelling presence. Because when Jesus was leaving, he said, I'm not leaving you comfortless. I'm going to leave you in the hands of the comforter. John 14, 26, 27. He said, he's going to teach you everything about the Father and even myself. I'm going to remind you. All of this, we need to teach people successively. But the first thing is, tell them about Jesus. Tell them how to come out of darkness into light. Because he himself is the light that light life into all men. And so for whosoever that does not have him, is still in darkness and he needs to know about the light. I pray the Lord will use you. He will use me to do this glorious service for his kingdom in the name of Jesus. Beloved, there's another thing you can do. Prayer, intercessory. You can intercede, intercessory prayers. You can pray fervently for souls to be won into the kingdom so that hardened hearts will be softened and the evil veil that is covering the hearts of men shall be roasted. Pray that the grip of Satan, the prince of this world upon the lives of people will be broken. And when it's, they are released from this evil grip, they will willingly want to serve God. You know, surrender their lives to Jesus and live a better life. Nobody hates to be under oppression or subjection. But you see, they need to know the truth. Say, and when you know the truth, 
John 8, 30, John chapter 8, verse 32. He said, You shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Let them know the truth so that they will be free. Heaven is waiting. He wants to rejoice at your manifestation in winning souls. And he said, Whomsoever the Son of God, Jesus Christ, has set free, is free indeed. It is the word of God. I pray. So you have experienced freedom and you are ministering to others, sharing the word with others, evangelizing, winning souls, expanding the kingdom. Even God will rejoice over you and over those souls in the name of Jesus. Praying fervently for souls is another way to win souls into God's kingdom because the, the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much. That's what the Bible tells us in the book of James. Beloved, you need to rise from where you are. If you've been doing it, increase your effort. Or you have not been doing so. Today you've just heard about strategies for effective evangelism. Get ready to work for the master. The Lord is waiting for you. The world wants to experience your manifestation and heaven will rejoice in the name of Jesus. So we go on a short break again. And then come back, stay connected, remain blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Determined to move your family from mockery to miracles. Break every jinx and spell working against your family. Destroy every evil pattern working against your family. Break every family curse working against your family. Receive stolen and lost glory of your family. Put your family in the envelope of the God of Elijah. These six powerful agendas will be dealt with on the 9th, 16th, and 23rd of August, 2023. It's the August Special Man Water Service. Theme on Cage, your family. Dr. D.K. Olukoya, the General Overseer, Mountain of Fire, your Miracles Ministries, will be ministering live from the MFM International Headquarters, Lagos, Nigeria, 0430 p.m. W.A.T. The August Special Man Water Trio. Come reposition your family with these divine steps. Align to put a family in place. This program will be available on all our social media platforms Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Mixlayer. Don't forget MFM Television. Come fasting to this program with a list of family names, a bottle of oil, and of course, a bottle of water. Jesus is waiting for you. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. You're welcome back to the morning charge of today, Friday, August 18. Strategies for effective evangelism. Wonderful people of God, we've talked about many strategies. We've also talked about the things you need to teach through the Word of God. Remember, I said. People are waiting. In our first scripture today, John chapter 4, the Samaritan woman wasn't expecting Jesus, just met him at the well. She was there to fetch water, but the Savior himself reached out to her. Jesus, as a Jew, should not be talking to a Samaritan. As a man, should not be talking to a woman all alone. It's against cultural beliefs. But Jesus broke many barriers. Geographically, it was in a place where it shouldn't be, but it was passing. Culturally, it shouldn't be fun talking to a Samaritan. I, as a matter of gender, a man and a woman is almost uh, uh, an offense. But he did because there was a purpose. As a sinner, <laughs> that woman had many husbands. The world saw her as dirty, polluted. But spiritually, before Jesus, the master himself, he saw an evangelist. And Jesus broke all these barriers by becoming a friend to the woman, sharing uh, 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 things that are close by that she could understand, and then eventually got to her own personal problem. And of course, the woman herself said, Truly, you are the Messiah. You are a prophet. You can do the same. All you need to do, beloved, 
ask the Holy Spirit to help you. And I know as you are listening today, the power for effective evangelism, the Lord will release it upon you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And he will give you those divine strategies to win souls for his kingdom by his glory and power. In the name of Jesus. But one thing is this, you need to desire it. You need to ask for it. And you need to pray to have it. And when you are equipped, you go and walk. Yours is to do the Holy Spirit waters and heaven rejoices at your manifestation. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray with me. Say, my father, make me a fisher of men. In the name of Jesus. Yes, that is what happened. When Jesus met Peter, they were no longer fishing fishes. He turned them, not a fisherman. He, they became fisher of men. Fishers of men. Make me a fisher of men, O God. My father and my God, in the name of Jesus, make me a fisher of men. In my locality, my environment, my family, in the office, in my marketplace, wherever you find yourself, let me become a fisher of man, of men. In Jesus' name we pray. And I want you to pray with me. Say, I receive the wisdom of a soul winner. The Bible said the soul winner is wise. I receive the wisdom of a soul winner. In the mighty name of Jesus, receive it, receive it, receive it. I receive the wisdom of a soul winner. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Remember, that Samaritan woman whom Jesus met did not keep the word, the good tidings to herself. What did she do? She went into the town, called men to come and see the prophet whom she met. Not only, the Bible said, not only did they come and hear, and I mean, not only did they come as a result of the woman calling on them, but when they saw, they believed. I pray in the name of Jesus, as many people, to as many people that you will share the word of God, it shall be like fire in their, in their, in their, in their souls, and they shall have no choice but to surrender to the master in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to begin to plan how to do it. It is not just in hearing. You must plan to do it. And as you plan to do it, the Lord God Almighty will glorify himself in your life, in all that concerns you, in your family, in the name of Jesus. Your labor of love shall not be in vain. In the name of Jesus. As you are winning souls for the kingdom and heaven, through his angels, harvesting men and ripping souls into the kingdom. Heaven will write your name in the book of life. It is well with you. Enjoy your day in Jesus' mighty and powerful name. Amen. God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God for the miracle of sleeping and waking up. I decree that today it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. The Lord God that dwelleth in Zion will move you forward in a new way in the mighty name of Jesus. No evil shall befall you this day, neither shall any plague move near your camp. Wherever you go, the favor of the Almighty shall be upon you. Your life shall be plugged into the socket of divine favor, divine restoration in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All the evil present in this day, I bind them and I cast them out. You shall not be part of the evil that is spreading around in the name of Jesus. The Lord will make you head and never detail in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. You are going in your coming out shall be blessings. The hand of God shall be mighty upon you. I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Have a wonderful day, beloved. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen.